What's up, guys? Tao here. Hope you guys are well. Here I have a 2019 27-inch uh, iMac 5K. It's been doing great since I got it, but it kept telling me uh, the internal storage is running low. Now, if you own one of those Intel or 27 iMac or any iMac with 128 gig internal storage SSD-wise, and then you more likely will understand what I'm talking about. To me, it's quite frustrating. Um, this internal storage is really, really small. So now today I'm gonna show you guys how I work around the uh, lack of internal storage and um, I will show you uh, how I did it. So if you are in the same situation, stick around. All right guys, let me show you what I have connected to the iMac. Uh, first of all, there's ethernet connection here. And there are two Thunderbolt ports are occupied. One is connected to the external monitor. The second one is connected to the Thunderbolt external server. And uh, these four USB 3 ports, now very important, this is the USB 3.0 standard. So it's not really 3.1 Gen 2. Uh, I wish it was, otherwise um, the transfer speed is gonna be up to 10 gigabit per second. So on these four USB ports, they are the transfer speed are up to 5 gigabit per second, which is fine for a, a system drive. Um, I, it took, it normally take a few more seconds just to load, but once it's loaded, I can't really tell the difference. So right now there are two external drive connect to it. Uh, this one is the uh, Samsung A60 Pro, one terabyte. Now this drive is mainly used for a lot of editing and uh, yeah, because um, I don't want to put everything in one drive, uh, just in case one fails, so I don't lose anything. And uh, now this external M.2 right now is the system drive, and you can see um, it's actually a Samsung a 960 a Pro S M.2 SSD. Uh, right now, there's um, a weird-looking thing. They actually heat sink um, because I have this already in hand. Um, I didn't really buy anything fancy just to make it uh, look better because it's behind the iMac, so I didn't really care too much about it. Um, both of them, they are use a Velcro, which is sticky Velcro. So, so far, it's holding pretty well. I've been using for about almost two weeks now. So, it's, it's okay, but um, in long term, I might need to uh, find a better way to secure them because the heat may um, just uh, degrade the glue in long term. But for now, it's fine. Uh, it's temporary solution. So those uh, four USBs, one is connected to the uh, USB hub, which is at the front here. I've got four spare USB 3 ports. And the other one is connected to something else. Uh, Oh, the Apple Watch charger. So yeah, um, this is the uh, devices that are connected to the iMac. In terms of the actual transfer speed or the performance of the disk, uh, compared to the internal Apple SSD, the reading and the writing speed is not as on par with uh, the Apple SSD. The external M.2 SSD as a system drive, um, in my opinion, once you boot into the system, I, I mean, as I said, I personally, I can't really notice the real difference. Um, it up to 5 gig per second, that is absolutely fine. Yes, it will have a better booting time or faster booting time if you switch to a USB 3.1 Gen 2, which is up to 10 gig, uh, 10 gig per second, or switch to the uh, Thunderbolt ports. Because the two Thunderbolt ports are occupied, so I'm okay with the uh, USB 3.0. Now let me show you guys the method I use to install the system onto the external drive. After boot into the recovery mode, you will see this window. Uh, technically, you have three different methods uh, to do this. Uh, first one, if you have a time machine backup, you can use the first one. Or uh, if you just want to do a brand new system install, uh, you can just reinstall the OS. And the third one, uh, this is the one I used because I had a system running already. So that is restore a clone the entire drive uh, to a new one. So because I've done this already, uh, this is the internal Apple SSD, you can see right now is empty because I erased it. And this iMac, uh, this actually is the external SSD. You can see right now, 
I uh, divided two, half and half. Uh, the, actually, the Samsung 960 Pro, you can see this half and half. Now, the way to uh, clone or replicate, so what you need to do is you will need to uh, select the destination drive, so which means the drive you want to uh, restore the system to. Now, because I've done this already, so I'm going to use this as example, Apple SSD. So you select the drive you want to restore to, and then you click on Restore. And now it will ask you to select the drive you want to restore from. So for this instance, it's the iMac. So and then you just need to click on Restore, and then it will clone the entire drive onto the, desti onto the destination drive. So it's pretty straightforward. Now there's other ways you can actually solve the issue um, by simply replacing the internal storage. To me, that is quite complicated um, solution here. You have to open the whole thing and replace it, and um, uh, you're gonna have to take on the risk of damaging iPad, uh, iPad iMac. Um, this is only 2019 model. I don't want to destroy that soon. I still want to um, use it for a few more years. So yeah, I mean, my solution is quite simple and just install a external drive. So far it's working fine, unless something wrong with the drive and then I will start thinking about open the whole thing, replace it. Anyway, I'm rambling on now. So yeah, now if you guys have the same issue with internal storage, please leave a comment down below and uh, share what is your solution. And maybe other users can have benefit out of your experience. So yeah, if you liked the video, please smash the like button. And if you want to leave the comment as well, and see you guys in the next video.